Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today we're on the Crownline 270BR. Let's check out some of the features. The helm is nicely laid out. I like the way the gauges are curved so they're all facing in towards the operator. Drink holder just off to the left-hand side of the steering wheel. You've got your essential switches over on the left side, non-essential over on the right-hand side, and separated is the horn, which I always like to see, and I'm a big fan of having the stereo at the helm instead of a remote control. Not too happy with the position of the fire extinguisher. It's too close to the kick zone. I'd rather see it behind the helm seat. The throttle is easily accessible. There's a bit of an armrest right here, but it's not a very comfortable armrest. It's kind of hard, and I'd like to see it out a little bit further so you just have a more stable environment for your arm to make little minute controls on the control corrections on the throttle, but it's still workable. Tilt steering wheel, good visibility. You've got 10 and 3 quarter inches between the dash and the window frame. Dual bucket seats, notice how they're both wrap around for comfort. Flip up bolsters, and I like how they're open in the back. Gives you good ventilation on hot days. The head compartment has a bolster on the side. Nice position for it. Inside, little cramped. I can't sit up straight at all. My head is hitting. And what I really don't like is the light is right in the center like a dome light. It should be mounted on the bulkhead so it's out of the range of your head. I'm already hitting the padding anyway. Now, of course, there are trade-offs with every boat. I think the head is so small because they've made a trade-off by making it a little bigger walkway going up to the bow. It's a fair trade-off in a 28-foot boat. The walkway itself, 21 inches wide. I've seen them as low as 16. To port is a door for blocking off the wind when you close the walkthrough windshield. And to starboard, cavernous storage. The bow is very roomy. Plenty of room to stretch out, plus having a person all the way at the peak. 28 feet is about the size where you would expect a flip down armrest on the seat. Stainless steel grab rails. The anchor locker, it's very deep, 26 and a half inches. We'd really like to see accommodations for hanging an anchor in here and keeping it secure. Right now it's just an empty space lined with vinyl. Deck storage between the seats. 13 and a half inches. From front to back, it's 72 inches. I'd like to see it carpeted just to protect your skis, your wakeboards. None of the interior of the hatches are finished. What we do like, it's lockable. The entertainment center over to the starboard side. You have a sink, one of the two on board. There's one in the head, one here. Cooler. Storage underneath with a waste basket. There's storage under all the seats. And what I really like, they're all hinged. Inside the port compartment, is a cooler mounted in brackets to keep it from moving around, which is a good idea, but it's in the center of the compartment, which is a bad idea. I'd rather see it moved forward or aft, just to give you more room on either side for storing stuff. Sitting in the seat, bit of an awkward position for the grab rail. Be better if they were up high, because you'll be facing forward while the boat's underway or sideways. Right now, it kind of just makes a good footrest. <laughs> Cockpit measurement, 40 inches across. Plenty of room, so nobody's going to be knocking these together. And notice, it's self-draining. The engine compartment is easily accessed. 300 horsepower, 350 mag, connected to a Bravo 3 outdrive. Plenty of room on both sides to get any work done that you need. I like that there are two gas assist struts holding the engine hatch up. It's gasketed all around. Eggshell sound suppression, one inch thick. And I really like that the non-skid is actually an application rather than just roughed up fiberglass, so it's going to be much more effective even when it's wet. Crownline has designed this 270 bow rider without the sun pad, but you do have two coolers on either side of the transom. The bolt-on swim platform has the same non-skid application that we saw in the walkthrough. Swim ladder is off to the side to keep you out of the way of the outdrive four-step rather than three-step. Thank you, Crown Line. I really tried looking for imperfections in the fit and finish and couldn't find any, which says a lot for how Crown Line works on their boats. That's our look at the 270BR from Crown Line. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.